Doug Day, you went to Wisconsin. You survived the chilly air down there. Uh, you, you did pretty well. Came away with another win. Yeah, we came away with another win. Um, the weather was brutal, and trying to get some scores was pretty much brutal. But it is what it is. We, we ended up winning. Um, we're going to bounce back this weekend. But getting back to Wisconsin, uh, you know, we started out ro really rough on beam, unfortunately, which was very odd. Um, but we did climb back. Um, you know, on floor, we did some great sets. Tyler Davis won the event again, mm -hmm. defending national champion on floor. And uh, she did a wonderful job along with the rest of the squad. And the other two events uh, went well. Vaulting was decent. Bars was stellar. I think our bar performance was the best of the year, to believe it or not. Um, there were some really, really good routines. A lot of small details were worked out. We had handstands, stuck dismounts. Um, so overall, I was really pleased with that. Um, we're going to use that as a stepping stone to this weekend, where we've got a quad meet against BYU, uh, Springfield, and uh, Conference Pro um, Seattle Pacific. So, and it's also senior night. So the thing that's going to be different is there's a big club meet going on this weekend down at the Broadmoor with about 2,400 JO kids, some of the top kids around the country, a lot who are, were, were recruiting. So we're expecting a big crowd, but as a result, a lot of those judges are down there, so we had to push our meet back to 7 o'clock. We're always at 6, but this weekend it's at 7. Um, we're going to bring in extra bleachers because we're expecting a great crowd. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Back to Wisconsin, if you, if you will, just for a moment. The start, you started on beam, and, and uh, I think four did not hit. So what does it say about the fortitude of your team to come back and just get better as the meet went on? They've got a lot of grit. They got a lot of grit and a lot of determination. Um, you know, I think it shocked everybody, but that being as it may, um, we uh, got together, huddled up, and said, "All right, it's time to put our nose to that grindstone and let's uh, show them what we're all about." I was really proud of them climbing out of that hole, um, and they went along and they hit some real stellar routines throughout the meet. So BYU, Springfield, and Seattle Pacific. You've seen Seattle Pacific a couple times already this year. Tell us what these other teams bring in here. Well, BYU, I believe, is ranked 14th or 16th. They're a really, really good team. Um, again, gymnastics is just like last weekend. It's who stays on all the apparatus. It's anyone's ball game. Um, we went out there last year, and they beat us by a couple points when they were ranked uh, similarly. Sim similarly. Yes, <laughs> sorry about that. That's fine. But uh, anyway, uh, Guard Young is their coach. He's an ex Olympian. I used to compete against his dad, who was an Olympian also in 76. Uh, he does a real good job. Um, but we're looking for a little revenge this weekend. Uh, we're in our house, um, and I expect our team to go 24 for 24, and we're going to give it our best shot. So they're our main competition, really. You get five seniors on this team. It'll be a special night for them, too, last time at home. Absolutely. We've got all the parents coming in. It's a special moment. Um, at the end of the meet, we'll you know, talk about each and every one of them. And on the video board, it'll show their life of gymnastics from three years of age all the way up. So it should be fun, entertaining, emotional. But uh, I think it's going to be a great time. Doug Day, thanks for the time. Good luck this weekend. You got it.